Today we're going to go over the basics of training your guineas. <clears throat> Some people say, oh geez, you know, I, can't, I don't want guineas. They just go all over the place. I kind of get them back in their coop. You know, they're getting killed by predators because they're roosting in trees. And, um, yeah, if you don't train your guineas, you are going to have that issue. You can see these guys. They're good babies. But you need to train them. Okay, my, these guys were in uh, a brooder with the chickens. And then they went into the coop with the chickens until they were about mm, 14, 16 weeks old. And um, then they had to be moved into the coop because they were picking on the chickens. Guineas can be bullies. I'll tell you that right now. Not all of them, but these, these guys were. And um, so they went over into their own coop. It's just an old shed. Guineas take heat pretty well. Um, they're from Africa. But this is what I did. Okay, guineas have to imprint on their surrounding. And you just can't take, like when they were 14 weeks old, take and put them out and let them free range. It doesn't work that way. They, It's like taking a four-year-old and turning them loose in the world. It's the same principle. So what I did, and I do it with my chickens too, but when I moved them over into their coop every night, I would, as I was walking to the coop, I would say, guinea, 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 dinner, loudly. And after a few days of them being in their enclosure, they would run out to greet me, okay? Um, these guys were hatched in... Um, July so it uh, it was once they uh, they could be let loose it was nothing for them to free range even though we're in Florida hi babies even though we're in Florida you know the grass dies back there's no seed the, the bug population you know goes down and so I didn't let them out well mother's day i lost a guinea we had bird netting over the run and they were getting really antsy to get out and i was waiting our weather just did not want to cooperate this year and i was waiting to let them out and she broke her neck in the um bird netting so yeah the next day they went out and, uh, but it, it's with a guinea, it's repetitive. Everything is repetitive. You've got to do it over and over again. Every night when you go out to feed them, <clears throat> excuse me, and they have to stay in their enclosure for at least two to three months. They have to be almost adult size. So I think they're considered adult at six months. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think it's six months. And, um, so... Yeah, it it was sad when we lost her. Where did they go? Yeah, can you tell it's we have got nothing but rain this year. Can't even mow the lawn. But um everything is repetitive. They've got an imprint on their surroundings. Now when I say I can call guinea 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 and they'll answer me. It doesn't matter if they're in the neighbor's yard. Or, or two blocks away, if I yell loud enough, they can hear me, they'll answer me to let me know where they are. You know? Um, I do not find these birds excessively noisy. I, I just don't. Um, they squawk when there's danger or one of them's in trouble or, or whatever, but this is the norm for around here. So, um, yeah, just repetitive in your training. You know, every night when you go out to feed them, guinea, 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 dinner, you know, so they know. And mine will sit on my back porch. It's summertime, but about 7 o'clock, 
they'll get on my back porch and start squawking. They want their dinner. They're ready to go to bed. Even though it is so hot outside still, they want to go to their coop. That's, you know, that's where they want to be. They're ready to go to bed. So, yeah. So, I would take them out of the brooder about, um, oh, about 10 weeks old. And put them in their permanent enclosure. We had to build the enclosure. That's why it took so long. They went in at about... They went in the enclosure about... The chicken enclosure. About 11, 12 weeks. They were only in there for a couple of weeks. And it just wasn't working out. They just constantly picking on the chicken. So, um, yeah. Go from the brooder to their permanent enclosure we they were still young enough that they were able to imprint on their enclosure okay even at 14 16 weeks so but they need to imprint and you can't just take and buy adult guineas put them on your property and let them free range they're gone because they're looking for home they don't know what home is my guineas have never roosted in trees they roost in their um their coop you know they've got a roost bar in there and that's what they use so step one take them out of the brooder step two put them in their coop along with step two that's when you start letting them imprint but also you start the repetitiveness of calling them guinea 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 dinner they'll start coming to that they'll start to understand you have to keep it up i still do it to this day we've got some keeps that are going to be going out to the coop with these guys when they get a little bit older so see i told you we got a lot of rain just mushrooms all over the place so, yeah just repetitiveness and then it's going to take a couple of days when you first let them out to free range. You're going to be exploring everybody's yard. The neighbors, two blocks down. And you might have to go down, call them, get them to come. They'll come back, but they, they, they were like, um, they get distracted very easily. <laughs> so you got to keep calling them. Got to keep calling them because they'll go about 10 feet and get distracted by a bug or something. You know, it's just, you got to keep at it, you know. And after a couple of days, they they finally figure out that, you know, I need to go in the coop. I need to be closer to home this time of night. You know, it takes work. It is work, but they can be trained. They're not as stupid as everybody thinks they are. They're a bird. They're a wild bird. They're, they are not domesticated. So, you got to cut them some slack there. You know, I've seen chickens do some really stupid things. And don't even get me started with turkeys. So, yeah, just repetitiveness. Take them out of the brooder. Put them in the coop. Make sure there is... Uh, I would not recommend bird netting because they can't see it. But I would recommend a covered run if you have to do it with chicken wire or whatever put um, flags on there so they know that there's a cover to this and 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 let them sit in there and i would say at least three months until they're six months old do not let them out young guineas don't have any common sense whatsoever or self-preservation they don't even know what that concept is you know, it's like I said, turning a four-year-old loose in, a, in the world, you know. So, take them out of the brooder, put them in the coop, leave them in the coop till they're about six months old. But during that time, you are working with them every night. Guinea, 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 dinner, loudly, so they hear it, so they know that they're going to get fed at night. Now, I normally feed during the day. Okay, now, I know I said at night, but... Because they were on a chicken schedule, because they were with the chickens, <clears throat> they got fed every morning before they were let out of the, the um, coop to free range. 
every morning they would get feed, okay? Now they don't, since they've started free-ranging, they don't even eat their, their feed anymore. They get up and go out and free-range, and then they get a snack in the evening time of a couple of handful of um, scratch and some vegetables, or if I've cooked rice, they get cooked rice, or if we had spaghetti, they love spaghetti, cooked spaghetti. Um, just, you know, something, just maybe between the three of them, maybe a little over half a cup, maybe, of, of food in their um, coop. And also, you might think about getting rechargeable lights, because guineas don't like the dark. Just saying. So we have a rechargeable light. We got two of them, actually, and we change them out. Um, and then when my husband goes in, because they are in an old shed, um, he changes it out and leaves the light on so they can see to eat their dinner. And then, you know, they have light until they fall asleep. So, anyway, I hope that you found this helpful. Um, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Love to hear from you. Talk to you later. You have a great day.